<laughs> Peek -a boo Hey, 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 it's Kelly Sue with Cleopatra Arts, and I'm gonna paint the back of my Life is Better on the Porch um, gnome porch leaner. It is five feet or 16 inches high, and a man's 12 inch, which means it measures 11 something. Let's see if you can see its feet or not. I probably, I'm trying to get around those letters. I don't want to snap them. One, one little bit more. Perfect. And I want you to be able to see his feet. So what's it going to look like when we're all done? Oops. Boom. This guy. Super cute. I made some notes in the corner. It kind of looks like I was being graphic, <laughs> but I'm not. Um, so right away, I'm going to say, I was thinking about going white on the board, but where my porch leaner is on the front of the house gets a lot of dust. So I'm gonna go with a goldish dark brown. So what do I mean by that? I'm gonna take our, yep, this is not my favorite paint manufacturer. I won't be using them again to make my paints. I guess we have some s'mores, a little bit of black. I don't really have the problem with this. So happy Sunday, guys. And then some bright 24 karat type gold. Where did I get this? Oh, this is an inexpensive paint we've been talking about at Hobby Lobby. Here we go. I don't know that this is enough. So big wide brush and some water. So I want to say that it up until last year, it's been very difficult to find great 4th of July um, decor, I guess I should say. But then Hobby Lobby really kicked it up. I'm really impressed, Hobby Lobby. Thank you. Good job. And then, of course, we've kicked it up too. 100 different times. Different ways. We've got porch cleaners. We have two trays. And, of course, um, door hangers and shelf sitters. So we got it all. Except for fabrics. So if you're just coming on, say hi. I'm just going to take some water and paint my backer board a nice golden, it's got some gold in it, dark brown. Or, you know, I took the s'mores paint color, you want a little darker with it. It's a 12 inch board. The manufacturer says it's a 12 inch board and it's 60 inches long or five feet. So it's a little bit shorter than me, a little bit taller than Sabrina. <laughs> I'm just watering down my paint so that it flows better. I personally, personally like to see the grain just a little bit, even through my dark colors. But if you like to paint your porch cleaners like a fence heavily, you don't want to see any grain, you know, make yourself happy. I love the streaks of gold, but I'm not seeing enough. More in there, and then of course, while it's drying, you can streak more in just to give it some pizzazz. Sunday pizzazz that's what it's all about. So, go ahead and put your comments in. Hi, I'm pretty sure um, that I won't be able to see them here. Oh, I'm seeing a couple, but I don't have my glasses. Hey, Brenda, hey, Brenda, Brenda, um, and Miss Donna's in town. Donna, how you doing, girl? This, if you haven't seen what we're doing, we're doing our 4th of July gnome. We ixnayed the balloon one. It, I literally had to label the back of them when they went out. I mean, you can seriously get one if you want, but it was very time consuming just to send it to you. And then the hat was bigger than our longest box. I had a special order a box in and two of the five that went out busted. Tin roof busted. So we had to resend them out. And I thought, nope, this is no way. No way to show your no gnome country loving. <laughs> ah, cracking me up. What are you guys doing today? Anything fun? Ooh, I have a lot of paint left over. I'm seeing that shimmer. Please keep in mind when it comes to metallics, it's not gonna really show till it's dry. Kind of like my hair. My hair looks like it was hit with metallics a little bit. Just a 
put a little of this in. I'm not looking for yellow ugh, at all, but I'm looking for some lovely streaks. While it's wet, I'm gonna just brush it in. <laughs> and re remodel the whole studio room as I'm doing it, apparently. Every time I pick up flooring at the hardware store for this room, we find another use for it somewhere in the house. <laughs> one of these days, guys, one of these days we will get done. Really love it there. So I was thinking a cream board would look really cool. Come on. Um, black, but I didn't, I wanted my blue, my dark, dark blue that I'm going to use to show. So I do sit down and think about oh, what colors are going to look good together. So happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I don't have my glasses on Donna. You like, well, you can have it. You can have the balloon one if you want. I'm saying, oh, we got to label it. And you know, I don't have to ship it to you, so I don't mind. Shipping it was difficult. And then we tried to etch the balloon because it's it's got eight pieces the stripes of the balloon are all separated and I can see where it would be easier to paint that way but it took me at least 20 minutes the first time I did it to figure out how they went together so I started numbering them on the back um, and there isn't a way that we could etch them anyway so oh let me get my parts get my parts So personally, when I paint it, uh, paint all the pieces on something this large, I separate it into doable layers. So here are my legs and my feet and some stars. This one has a tremendous amount of leg pieces. Today we're gonna kind of figure out, you know, do we need all those? Do we want them, you know, like shorter and taller or what? So we're gonna see how John did and we're gonna see, do we want all those pieces? I know, one of you, I know who it is. I want all the pieces. <laughs> Apparently, she likes a tall, leggy gnome. The lemonade gnome is pretty short. It just is. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my um, pieces that I'm gonna paint red. So this is gonna take just a few minutes. We're gonna separate everything. The ball, the fluffy ball, the July. Part of the rocket, the rocket's red glare top. Just the top. Nothing to see here, folks. Keep on moving. Nothing to see here. Boom. Okay. Boom. Okay. And then, oh, that didn't stay, did it? It spun around. Okay, maybe I just don't have very good tape today or my requirements are a little bit higher. Okay, so everything else on here is gonna be a different color. So blue, and then some of the legs. We're gonna attack the legs independently. Um, some of you guys really need these um, videos as a resource to figure out how to do it, how to attack it. Um, some of you don't at all. You're just here to keep me company, and that's great, too. So my hands and my nose will be one color, and it'll be, you know, kind of a fleshy color. If you're not sure which side is the correct side, and a lot of pieces you can flip over, but some you can't. Um, typically, the right side up would be a little lighter in color and it will be cleaner on the edges where on the back it'll have little tiny burn spots and it's because the laser comes through it hits the metal underneath and it's called flashback it comes up a little bit there's really not a lot you can do that you're gonna want that when your laser is working correctly okay hat What's going to be blue? So this is going to be blue. That's going to be blue. It's going to be white. 
the stars. So these ones I don't have to separate, and it just takes a second to separate everything. And it just makes it that much easier to get through the project. So happy, H-A-P-P-Y, happy four. Now the reason why he is as large as he is and he fills up the board is I really wanted John to increase the size of these words here, the of and the th, because, um, you know, you worry about them breaking, about the fonts being delicate. And this font, even with the increase, you see how delicate the space is between the L and the F. And honestly, if it does snap, and if you can't glue it on, let me know, I will send you a new one. But it, it's delicate. Hopefully with increasing it, it'll be a little bit better. This boat, I'm gonna be red. The stars, yellow or white. Why would they be yellow? Maybe we're gonna go white. Maybe find some glitter. I got my glitz glitter here. Yeah, got a little bit of shiny loveliness to it. it our, yeah, our colors aren't red, white, and yellow. Yeah, would have asked me, the founding fathers, there would have been a little teal action, but they didn't. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put the legs aside. Let's giddy up. So one of the first things I do is the beard. If you're just learning how to paint, paint it solid. Don't drive yourself nuts. If you have lots of painting experience, put some strands in, put some shading on the edges, go for it. Um... You know, where is your comfort level? You're gonna get better the more you do. And some of you guys come into this with a lot more um, experience than I have. I'm just gonna give this a base coat. And you can use a sponge, sure. And it's a gray. The photo shows white. I like to put strands. I like to show that he's a silver fox. He's a foxy little gnome. And I do that by, you know, making him look a little aged, putting some hair in there. And one of my most asked questions is, how in the world do you do your beards and your mustaches on your gnomes? It used to be, how do you make the glitter glue? And then if you're in our um, wood blanks, okay, I'm really ha happy that I put that apron on. If you're in our wood blanks clubhouse, I'm actually gonna go live tomorrow showing you, breaking it down, how to do it. I get a lot of asks there. Okay, so I did one layer. Honestly, it's gonna dry almost instantly. So we can go on to step two. Or you can put this aside and pick up your color or your words and just get them done. There we go. You do want to dry between layers because, at least that first layer, because paint has a glue um, derivative in it, and so you're going to get some pull up or bald spots if it's starting to dry and you're messing with it. So I like to do wet on wet. Donna, I think you, I don't know if you're still watching, I think you like to dry brush. I just, I like a little bit more control. So I go in while it's wet. Okay, so I'm gonna move kind of quick. You can always re rewind. Whatever, you can find a paintbrush that's just kind of like gross. You could buy a paintbrush that looks like a rake brush. I have, I have one here, but it's kind of tiny. Um, and that's really nice. It's It's got a cut in between the bristles. That's nice, you can use just about anything you want for this action. I put some white in there too. Don't stab yourself, don't stab yourself. All right, positive mantra. Oh, this is the gray. So I have all three colors on my plate. I'm just gonna go in with a stiff brush. 
and a little black. I'm gonna take most of it off. But it's wet, it's going on wet. So I'm just gonna start doing some um, lines. And honestly, for a while, it's gonna look silly and ridiculous. I can tell you that it is. But because the black is hitting the gray, and both are wet, they're getting kind of dreamy and faded and not overwhelming. I wanna make sure that I'm gonna start a lot of my brush strokes above where his nose goes because there's nothing covering this awkward line here. It'd be very noticeable if I finished here and he had all this gray space. So I wanna start quite a few of them up above. So as you add more, it's not gonna look as ridiculous, but it doesn't look quite done. On my pieces of hair that curve, I wanna put some curvy lines in there. So just to show that the hair texture is going in the direction that the hair is going. Are you done? Add more if you want. I like to take it a step further and either add gray or add white. Kind of the same thing. Everything's still slightly damp. Where the white hits the black and the gray, it's gonna just add a third color or dimension. Okay, those are ugly. We're gonna fix them here in a second. I just had too much paint on my paintbrush. Just a nice teachable moment there. Just gonna keep coming in there and add. Now where it's clumpy, don't wipe it off. Just come in here with some gray. Break it up, break it up. Move it around. And keep playing. Keep playing till you're happy. You can come in with a smaller paintbrush and put tiny hairs if you want. One of the things I like to do is coming in with the black, just a little bit, I'm kind of wiping all of it off. And where the piece comes up, I'm just gonna add a darker piece. Uh, I could do it darker. I use my finger to soften it. A little harder to do. I'm not watching what I'm doing. Just to give the illusion that the hair goes all the way up. And I like to soften it with my finger. Here we go. Then if that seemed kind of awkward, empty space there, so I'm just gonna add some dark pieces. I will definitely come in with some more white. And soften this all up before I show the final piece. The final reveal, the sneak peek. So it helps pull it up. Okay, also with your sponges, if you're looking to take it to the next level, what I recommend you do is take a little sliver of sponge. You don't need the whole piece. Here's my bead scissors. Okay, cut those in half. Get them a little damp. Wring it out. Come in with your black. It's not very much. If you're not sure if you have too much or not, use a paper towel to take the extra off. What I like to do is frame outside. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to do this step because I'm putting my gnome on a darkish board, but if it was going on a whitish board, I would definitely want to try to frame the outside. It gives it boundaries. So I have a white piece of paper here. So mine's not 100% perfect because I'm not looking straight on. I'm trying to show you. Let me give you a piece of paper to show you what I mean. So 
I just did the outside and you can kind of see <laughs> oh thank you Brenda um you can kind of see that there's some detailing on the edges and it helps ground that piece so if you were going on a lighter piece you'd kind of probably want that don't necessarily have to do it with the darker pieces and only if it's at your comfort level because we want to increase our um our skill set the more we do so try it if you want don't try it if you don't my stars I'm not doing yellow. We're doing white. It's a white star situation. It's not stars at night. Um, bring out the glitter. But first, we're gonna do a base coat. And the base coat, in my mind, should be a gray. So that the white, you know, shows better. Um, you can use craft paint. You can use um, fluid acrylic. Pretty much they almost all need a little bit of base coat. That's pretty dark. I'm using the same sponge that I use for my beard. So you'll want to definitely dry those, give it a white coat. Ta-da! Let's attack the skin tone. It's got two little hands and a big old snob. I typically go similar color scheme to what your family's skin tone is. That's just my recommendation. You don't have to. Uh, mine is pasty white with some orange or brown in it, so that's what I'm gonna go with. And in the summer, my freckles just grow together. For sure I tan. So I'm just gonna add, mm, I don't know. A lot of people like um, a very nice warm gnome nose. I have one here that I painted this week and I can show you. Oh, here it is. So, that one I used our watermelon and white and brown to mix that. <laughs> Are you leaning on that button? I have to ask, that's crazy. Um, but I'm, with this one, I'm just going to go with a very neutral skin tone. I think actually I got my watermelon right here. Let's see. We don't want it to compete with the red, white, and blue at all, but this one was a little drab. There we go. I think, I think that will work. Why didn't I paint it with gray first? Um, it's just that the brown is a nice um, primer for the white. Sponge would work just fine. You don't have to pull your brushes out. Reading glasses are preferable. I'm going rogue on this one. And people are like, it's not even May Day, lady. Why are you doing 4th of July? What's going on the back of my lemonade gnome? And I'm all ready. As soon as it's like the week and a half before 4th of July, I'm just going to flip them over. I have my 4th of July decor for my porch. I had the smaller sign last year, but now I have a big one. I have my door hanger ready to go. Ta -da. Give this two coats. Don't. It's up to you. You're in charge. So I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Somebody's making my laugh here. The same. All right. So let's talk red. So this is going really quickly. It really is. The hardest part was the beard. Uh -uh. Okay, the photo shows, the picture shows him with reddish feet. Sorry, they're, they're shoes. If he had reddish feet, you might want to take them back. Um, I might trade that out. There's some shades of teal that'd be perfectly perfect um, for this. 
can talk me out of it. But I'm gonna go in with my red for my puffy puff, my brim, my July, and I love that font. It's that cartoony font that's on the porch. Welcome to the porch, the happy, the fourth. Okay, so I have a couple different reds. I have a very bright red. I have a cranberry red, uh, very similar to the Tuscan red from Deco Art. It actually, I think I might've made this a little darker. This Tuscan, here's Tuscan red. They're very, very similar. Just at the very bottom. Prime first, I would consider priming with a light brown. If you go dark brown, it makes the red even deeper. Um, but you can see I kind of really love that red. I'm, I'm gonna hope for the best, but I know in my heart of hearts, I should probably prime. I'm gonna sponge it. I have some amazing red glitter, but I do not have it here. I'm gonna show you what I mean from our freedom sign from last year. You guys can see that red glitter. I might bring that out. It's a very Christmassy glitter. Typically have more of it up here, but I don't seem to be able to find it today. Too many dogs and people in the studio. I'd like to think our forefathers would be on board with the glitter. Right? I mean, how puritanical could they be? I mean, really. They're getting all that sleep. They need a little something to jazz it up. Red, white, and blue. And I know it's because dyes are very expensive. Very, very expensive. If you had a country, what three colors would you add to your flag? That's a great question. I don't know. I think lime green, kiwi green, the bluesy goosey, and possibly watermelon or terracotta. Maybe. I might go purple. Mine would be flipping bright. They'd know. Kelly Sue's army is coming. <laughs> Hide all your paint supplies. <laughs> She's coming to raise our village to the ground for the paint supplies. Oh no. Funny. So the first coat's going to make it like. You guys are cracking me up. Um, the first coat is gonna look very pink-like, and that's because the light is going through that first coat. It's bouncing off that really light brown. That's why the primer really helps. If you went with a super light brown, that'd be great. Super light gray. Otherwise, your red's gonna get super dark. Doesn't mean that's bad. I would want super dark if my background was really light. I went to the most fabulous 4th of July display last year in a little small town called Spangle, Washington. I don't live there. Though I should. Um, and these guys were serious about their fireworks. The rumor was that they closed down the town from midnight to midnight. I don't know. They, they, they told me I forgot. 
Um, they t closed down their town and it's just an all day fair. I had to finally call it quits. Now remember, I go to Disneyland when I can, so that's at least once a year. And this just kept going. It's like if Disney would go 24 seven with giggles, kids squeals in the background, you'd be close, but you still wouldn't get there. Okay, so with that one, I did no, hold on a second, no primer. So let me do some primer on this one and then you guys can, if, if the camera is allowing you to see the difference. Because I'm looking at this and I'm like, that's gonna need another coat or two. I'm thinking, why do I have a puff ball at the end of my hat? Why don't I have like a big, the biggest star? Just a, just a thought. Nobody asked me. See what I mean? See what I mean? All right, I'm gonna put that aside for just a second. I'm gonna pack this guy. Okay, got his hat, his puff ball. This one is actually way less parts than the lemonade. The lemonade, well, and then I painted my lime upside down, so I had to come back and finish it the next day. Okay, ta-da. Just clean up and get that gray off me really quick. You don't have to paint. That's wrong. Bound to happen. You don't have to paint all of it like your stick. You don't have to do because you have a piece going over it. Unless you want to. Unless you feel compelled to do it that way. Get that back. Let's see if I can see any comments. Do you think the feet should be a different I love the gold. Okay, perfect, thank you. Um, the feet should be not red, white, or blue. Can't do black, because my backer board's pretty dark. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, put on this for a second. Won't take long. Raven is a straight legging. I mean, it could be implied that he's patriotic. It doesn't have to be. It's, Oops. You know, it doesn't have to be, oh, he's like, poop for pink dry. Is that a word? Is that a, is that a term? Is, what's it called when you dress up? This is a little bit. I might switch to the brush. So the great thing about the sponge is you're putting a little on at a time and not gonna glob it on. The good thing about the brush is you can get it done fairly quickly. I sort of need two coats, but specifically because I'm picking up the wet paint. I 
I did use primer, I'm gonna need a lot. I should have let this dry just a little bit more. This one feels dry. July in our house and it's because nobody else eats it but me I need five or six friends so it's this think you could think of it as pie but it's not really pie it's a pie with a slightly croissant -y crust and with a drizzle of sugar like thin down confectionery sugar glaze let's call it that on top. So good. But yes, you know, not very many people eat sweets anymore. Seems like it. And our parties have gotten smaller and smaller since we've moved. So I need to come become friends with a professional eater. You know, one of the ones that are like 2,300 hot dogs in three minutes. And they're always skinny. They're always really skinny. What the heck? So this isn't one of our colors. Ours would have more of a primer in it. I just haven't got that far. your professional eating stage name be. I was watching a Bones the other day ago and there was a lady who was a professional eater. She was the deceased that they were doing the autopsy on and her name was the Python. She could unhinge. She was skinny. What? Why? Why? Okay, so let me give this its last coat, which is, this is already two coats. It's still very light. Remember this will go outside, you're gonna seal these. That will add another layer of protection and make the color very, very vibrant. Looking for a sponge. So, ta-da. So I'm sponging some, I'm brushing some, and we'll see which one came out better. You use the sponge a lot on door hangers. Same principle, really. Don't break that font, girl. Careful, careful. Glitter would definitely help. Glitter. All right, put that down. This did not dry. I just can't make myself do red booties. Or yellow. Yellow's out. Um, hmm. Maybe, waterfall's a good one. Maybe. Ooh, a striped booties. Pull out that tape. Stripe them up. Then yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Polka dotted booties. What is that? Easter thingy. Okay. So you could do stripe like I did the hat, the brim of the hat. And stripe that up. I put my 
paintbrush. There it is. All right. Much better. I'm trying to think if you could see a difference with the camera and the lighting in here. Probably not. But it is a deeper red, um, almost a brick red, because I put a base coat of gray underneath it first. A little dry lighter. But it also dries deeper too. So if I heard the cat, I'm above the garage. do a, a rogue color on those booties just to nod to something I mean it's red white and blue I totally get it but two blue booties like a lighter blue booties and I can paint little white stars like a little kid star where you go up and down and over and back and forth right nothing wrong with that that's a cute idea I have to do that enough for the hat. I have it on the shelf. Okay, I got a couple. A couple blues on the shelf. Okay. Boom. Red. Done. The red is way deeper with the base coat, which is completely fine. I want to show you the beard. It's drying. Mostly dry. The hat and the popsicle stick, which I'm thinking corn dog. Are you thinking corn dog? <laughs> oh my gosh. So I gotta just paint this just a little bit more with white. That gray is so light, so it keeps catching me off guard. I don't care how many times I clean my desk before I do a filming. I always get all of my paint colors out again, and it's a mess. Good grief. When the rocket's red glare. Do do do. All right, it's gonna be blue. Okay, how blue? About this. Oh, perfect. I have a small on my true blue. The true blue is darker but glossy. I have hmm, also have these two blues. This is more of a primary blue. This is a Caldwell blue or cerulean. So I'm kind of like, hmm. So I'm going to use the true. If I would have gone black on my backer board, then this, this color would be too dark. Then I'd have to I'd have to use my cerulean. So it just depends on what color backer you did. Why does that look lighter? Oh, because this one's primary blue. Hold on. Big difference. Big huge difference. I wanted the darker blue. But that's just me and my preference. Some things you can do if it's not enough contrast between the piece you're painting and the backer board is take silver just like we did with the black and the beard and edge the side run your fingers around the side with some silver it'll give a little point of definition 
highlighting to the hat. So crinkly. Most of the hats that we've done in the past are very substantial. They're either really tall and skinny. This one almost looks like a um, Dr. Seuss Christmas tree. I can see the backer on this. Now, when I did the blue on my freedom sign, because I had a white background, I added black to it. I just got that all covered up and made it intensely dark blue. Knock yourself out. Mine's just blue and Spirit. Okay, so this is going to be blue, but I'm going to go ahead and pick the other blue. Doesn't really look that much different. It's a little bit different. Go ahead and paint it all the way down. Second coat if you want. This is kind of what it's going to look like. And then the red rocket cap. Ta-da. Okay. We are going to town on this. I get that on my beard. Okay. Um, my stars, I painted gray. So we're going in with some white. I'm going to pick, it's because I'm like one and done on this white, people. I'm going to do my fluid acrylics. Pigment is really strong, super glossy. And we're probably going to go over it with glitter because I'm feeling like the for bothers probably would hate that. But <laughs> I don't know, maybe they'd be mesmerized by the, by the glitter. Make your stars yellow if you want, but I'm going with white. And then my Glitz glitter has been problematic. It's been coming, yeah, it's been coming with so much pink in it that it now kind of appears pink, like confetti on top of a really yummy cookie. And that's not what I'm going for. You know what I mean? Hyper-focused. speed this part up on the recording. Just painting some stars, people. Just painting some stars. You guys are getting super busy with life. This is where we get start spinning up on our summer art camps with the schools and the um, Parks and Rec, and a couple of the tribes. We do summer camps for them too. Keeps us busy, out of trouble in the summer. But as soon as like, seriously, we're talking two months, and as soon as like July 15 hits, and we start doing Christmas in July, you guys are We get busy. Okay, using a brush, you're gonna have brush strokes. If you don't like that, stick with a sponge or plan to do a lot of feathering or multiple coats. For sure, for sure. Okay, for shizzle. All right, so I have to do the, um, What are we calling these? His stockings. We're calling them stockings. That's what we're going to call them. It is his red and white, I'm sorry, red and blue legs. 
when you see the finished product, it might not be the same colors. It might not be. So you put these on a piece of tape. It help you not lose them. We stick them on glue dots in the order they should go in. And then your job is to separate them. Remember where they go. Honestly, he could be a little shorter. He's super long. I might. We might. We'll let you know. His legs are super long. Like, I don't have room. Perfect leg. Okay. This one we did blue, red, blue. All right. Here we go. Go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do the lighter. He's going to look a little bit different than his hat. But I may do blue and white. Then I could stop with my, he'd look silly, I think, actually. He would look super silly. Super duper. Okay, since I have my good white out, I'm not going to do my base coat. Oh, why am I going with white? I'm not going with white. Stay clear. Let's do the red. Let's try the other red. I'm going to just shake it up. It has a smidge of a primer in it. <clears throat> so we're doing red, 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 red. There we go. It covers a lot better because it has the primer in it. Two coats, it's going to be good to go. having a paint party at your house with your girls there would be so many different ways everyone's would be different I really like this lighter blue thread I might go super dark blue on the shoes actually I have a nice glitter I can use So let me think. If we glitter up the shoes, maybe the happy 4th of July. Yeah. All right, we're almost done. You can almost put them together. Of course, I'll come back and I'll give second coats where it's needed. I could awesomely give this um, little stars too. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to mix some black into, and this is what I did for the freedom sign I just showed you a minute ago, into my stomach. It's Sunday. Thanks it didn't eat, but it sure did. Mm, not two. I need a better brush. That makes it a little bit better. There we go. So it's a really midnighty blue. Ooh. We got that metallic black. And I just pulled it out. I was like, maybe, maybe. Put me in, coach. Yeah, it'll be too dark. This one's coming along nicely. It's black dark blue. Let's make it a midnight blue. Be very generous with the paint, but not globby. You have to give it a second coat. It's okay. Got nothing but time here. Put some little feet wrinkles. Put some stars for, I want to say aglets, but that might not be what it's called. And I learned that on Phineas and Ferb. I think it was an aglet. So 
sounds like a dirty word, something that you feed the chickens to eat, but really it's just, you know, like the metal circle or donut that holds your shoelace in. Okay, joking. I'm thinking that if we did a lighter color blue at the top of his booty, I know I'm getting really hung up on his feet. Um, that might look cool too. But I, seriously, I want to try the stars first. I probably will do that off camera back in the morning before Rooster gets here because Lord knows I don't get anything done when that baby's here. All I want to do is give him love, make him giggle. Um, do it in the morning as I come back to it today. Okay, let's start putting this bad boy together. Let's make a little room. Make a little love. Get down tonight. Ooh. Okay. I haven't put my detail work, but you know we're all smart enough to know what I'm talking about. All right. I think we're good. Remember, if you're just joining us, we're making our version of this bad boy. Right, I'm laughing because you're still kind of pulsing with whatever thing you said. So this is, um, okay, so I don't know, can you guys see this? Life is better on the porch. This is the front. I am making something for the back. I painted my backer board brown, mixed with black and streaked with gold. Let's see, can you see the Bottom, you cannot. Okay, I don't remember where I have to go. I don't want to break the lettering off. There we go. I think that's it. Okay, here we go. Now I know because I placed these on the boards already that I think we blew them up a little too big, if you know what I mean, because like we just had room for everything. He had all he had lengthy feet. He was he was long-legged, poor father. Let's go with that. Okay, so we're gonna put his legs in first. Okay, here's how they go. Here's my thing. They go different on every one. Okay, where the beard curves in. Okay, I feel like I wanna come down just a little bit. Come on down. You totally need a name. What are we gonna call you? Jeff Rowe seems obvious. <laughs> How about Mel Gibson from The Patriot? He was hot in that show. Okay, you can leave spacing if you want, but I'm probably gonna go pretty close, which means I'm probably gonna need to move this fella down. I am gonna paint all these pieces one last time. Okay, we're gonna leave a little spacing. And then this one, and then there's the booty. So I think he has to come down, but let's, let's just say. The booty, can you see the booty? You can, I'm going down a little bit further. Okay, we're going down. So this, um, okay, so his booty almost goes to the side. Somebody has to get ice from the ice maker right this second. I'm assuming you all can hear that. I'm just laughing because it is what it is, people. Okay, so, Hardest part is the legs, that's it. And you can move this up, you can move it down. I like it not quite touching the bottom because, you know, it's leaning. Hello, I'm a leaner. It's leaning. <laughs> okay, on the other piece, the other leg, so this is your left leg. On the right leg, the big old beard is in the way, so you don't, the red piece is covered. So, honestly, this goes right about here. They're super close together. Some of them are very far apart. Hello, big chunky piece. Dope. And then his other booty. They should be at least the same height, but you can see they're very close to touching the sides. I think we're gonna maybe shrink them a tiny little bit. Um, you know, just a tiny little bit because he's touching the sides. You know how I feel about that with our porch cleaners, I feel like 
we lose support. The Easter Bunny did that, but um, I get it. I get it. Big is better, but you want to protect your pieces too. Okay, here's my nose. Nose goes right there, no nose goes. And then the hat just kind of comes down. We're gonna need two hands. We're gonna add some details so they pop up a little bit. Right now he looks like, um, what was that character's name? Was it Powder? Super, super duper. A little too white, we'll go with that. Here's part of the rocket. I call it a corn dog right now because, hello corn dog. I know right, he goes at an angle. This goes on the bottom. I wait, I give myself a picture and it looks naughty. Oh, I painted the wrong side. Nobody will know. Because almost, okay, and this goes up here. So he's kind of holding, right? Oh, nope, he's kind of right there, right there. And I'm gonna paint the right side at a different time. Don't you worry. Oh! Super cute. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the words happy. Um, it takes a few while. We go at the top. My H and A are connected. My P, P, Y are all separate. Separate. Okay, so, hold on. Like I said, I think we need to shrink it. Just, I'm talking. I'm only talking a half an inch or something, people, because I feel like uh, you get one board that's not the same as the rest. There we go. John had this differently, and I liked it better. Okay, so when you're peeling off these delicate fonts, don't just grab it. Just kind of, just gently, there you go. He cut it this way. I liked it way better. Oh. Yeah, but not like that. Oh. July, July is being too painted. A oh, little streaky. I think I'm gonna go with the other red, the red that worked out so good. Okay, so I like to. These are kind of cartoony, and so I like to space them a little different. Stagger them just a bit, if you will. Yeah, see right there? I feel like, John! Just a little bit, buddy. We like utilize the whole board. There is no spacing whatsoever in this board. And so, I like that. I really do, but I do think I don't want to, I'm overlapping a little bit. Let's put it that way. So I'm gonna come in and glitter. And you can't see my gray is popping through. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe hold up. You know, we're gonna play with the design a little bit. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna play with that a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna paint my right hand, right side of the hand, because I did not. There's always one side I do incorrectly. Do as I do, not as I say, or do as I say, not as I do. You know what I mean? He's super cute. I'm going to either glitter or take gold around the outside of the Happy Fourth of July so that it pops a little against the backboard. And it does, it's hard for you to see because I'm under, um, I don't have direct lighting. It's right here, it's not up here. Um, but I'll take a photo of it outside or against the wall and you'll see what I mean. And then our feet need to have a little something. I don't know. We might have to put some polka dots on his hat. Mm, you know what I mean? Maybe some polka dots. Give me a thumbs up if you think that's something that we should do. Maybe it'd make him look too... I don't know what the word is. <laughs> 
Anyway, I hope you had a good time painting with me today. I had to paint it anyway. I wanted you to see how it looks when it's all done. I'll share a picture on our page. But if you paint this, I want to see it too. So share with me. Have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.